Something I wanted to talk about was uh, the resilience of felt and that they look delicate but they're really not. Um, you can squish them and they're fine. Um, so if you buy one you don't really have to baby it as much as you think you do. Um, they mostly want to stay in the shape that I've put them in. So uh, the main thing that you have to worry about is fuzz. And so if, I'll go ahead and do this and I'll fix it later. The fuzz can be picked off a little bit and I'll show you how to repair that yourself uh, later. But that's really the only thing that you have to worry about. And uh, that's why I tell you to keep them away from animals because they'll pick the fuzz off. Uh, with ones with a wire armature like this, the wire could potentially break and that's why I don't bend them that much while I'm making them but I've tested this wire and twisted it until I and tried to break it and it's really hard to break so all you really need to do is watch out for the ends and don't let them poke out and think about where the joints would be if this were a real animal and bend it there and um, for it to avoid breaking off things like the teeth and the, the hair, just grab a hold of the biggest, fattest part of something and bend it there, and you'll get good results that way. And on these big dolls, sometimes they have soft parts like the horns here. When this guy is shipped, his horns are probably going to get squished and distorted and be something like that. So be ready to you know, bend them into wherever you want them to be. Where they're supposed to be, I guess I should say. And um, you're not going to damage anything doing that. Uh, you're, you're supposed to do that. Don't worry about it. Um, and, you know, like the wings will do this too. So felt is actually really sturdy. And you don't have to worry about it too much.